<laughs> Hello, Olala. It's good to see you this year. You know, I've been keeping an eye on you all, don't you? I've been listening to your principal's announcements every week, <laughs> Mr. Cucumber. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Maycomber. <laughs> he knows I would love to have Wednesdays off to participate in his Zoom meetings because I love Pictionary and scavenger hunts, and he knows that. <laughs> but Mrs. Claus keeps me pretty busy this time of year, so let's get to it, shall we, old Lala? I'm gonna kick off this year with a story. It's my story. Twas the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that soon St. Nicholas would be there. The children all were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap, we had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash. I tore open the shutters and I threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew it in a moment. It must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers, they came. And when he whistled and shouted, we even called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Covent, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves before the world, the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount into the sky. So up to the hooked housetops, the corsairs they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses. His cheeks were like roses. <laughs> and his nose was like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. His beard on his chin was white as the snow. <laughs> he had the stump of a pipe he held high, tight in his teeth. And, he sm and with the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. Oh, he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. With a wink of an eye and a twist of his head, it soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew away like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, Olala.